Hello and welcome to the beautiful seaside town of Cullen on the Murray Coast. I've been invited here today by Discover Cullen to come and uncover much of what this town has to offer. And as always, I'm taking you all on the adventure with me. Let's go. The best place to start your adventure around Cullen is in the town centre itself where you can see this big map situated on a board or you can also pick up a number of these portable maps that you can get from many of the businesses in the town centre itself. Within this map it showcases to you all the businesses, attractions and walks that Cullen has to offer and it really gives you a sense of how much there is to do here. So that's exactly where I'm starting my adventure today, in the town centre, and I'm off to discover many of the shops that this town has to offer. Cullen has an array of shops and treasures to be discovered. If you're looking to buy gifts for a loved one, or trinkets for your home, there's some lovely gift shops to be enjoyed. There's a gallery where you can purchase beautiful artwork to brighten up your walls, or if you're into antiques and collectibles, there's three antique centres to be discovered. I began my morning at Intricate Designs, a gift and craft shop home to many products created by local crafters and artists. The area has a talented crafting community and in here you can purchase a variety of creations inspired by the country's natural beauty and the crafter's vivid imaginations. Well, no trip into town is complete without a mid-morning drink and a cake. And here in Cullen, there's a number of nice cafes that offer a range of cakes and drinks. And they are so delicious. I've just been to the Rockpool Cafe in the town square to get myself a lovely luxury hot chocolate and a beautiful and very tasty strawberry tart. And I'm now sitting in a lovely garden overlooking the town square itself and just immersing myself in the comings and goings of the town. Following my mid-morning drink, I headed to Garden House Trading, a lovely craft and homeware shop selling a variety of lovely products to suit all ages and interests. I especially love their nautical themed products, which tie in well with the town's coastal location. I often find that coastal towns and villages are home to some of the best gift shops and Cullen is no exception. I've been so grateful today to be able to go around these gift shops and I've been able to buy some nice gifts for some up and coming friends birthdays and even treat myself to one or two things too. They're full of so many hidden treasures, I just love them and uh, yeah Cullen, the gift shops have not disappointed. One thing Cullen is well known for is its famous Cullen skink soup. As lunch was fast approaching, I headed to one of the town's hotels, the Royal Oak, to meet the manager and learn more about this famous soup. Hi there, my name's Caroline Ronald. I'm the owner of the Royal Oak Hotel in Cullen. Cullen is famous for, world famous for the Cullen skink soup, which we make on the premises. This is a big seller in our hotel. The skink is made from locally smoked haddock uh, potatoes, onions and cream and you can come along and have a nice bowl of soup after a walk on the beach. Having soup at any time of the year is a real treat but to come somewhere like Cullen and try the world famous soup in the very town that it was created by local chefs is a real treat. Mmm, delicious. Now that we've been round the town, bought some gifts, had some coffee, enjoyed the world famous Cullen Skink, I thought it would be quite exciting to spend the afternoon enjoying some of the trails around the town itself. 
Now Cullen is very well known for its beautiful sandy beach and its viaduct so I thought I'd spend the afternoon doing one of its less well known trails and that takes me to the site of a former salmon bothy. It's in this direction here and I'm super excited to learn more about it. It's always nice to learn about a town's history and heritage, and Cullen has a lot to be discovered. This walk in particular marks Cullen's salmon fishing heritage and showcases some phenomenal coastal views. Wow, I've made it to a point known as Nelson's Seat. I've been to Cullen so many times but I never knew this walk existed and the view from up here is incredible. I've got 360 degree views of the sea and oh it's just stunning. And as you can see the sun is now beaming down and that it's turned out to be a spectacular day. Wow. So now that I've been for a walk, built up a bit more of an appetite again, there's only one way to end the day at the seaside. And that of course, is to get some ice cream. So let's head back to the town centre itself, go to the ice cream shop, and then head to the harbour to enjoy it, overlooking the beach and the spectacular views of Cullen. What a place. What a great day I've had here today in Cullen and I barely feel like I've scratched the surface. As well as all the businesses I've been to, there's plenty of other shops, hotels and eateries to be enjoyed and discovered. If you're into water sports, there's a sea school here that offers paddle boarding, rowing, sailing and kayaking. If you're into nice walks, there's a beautiful walk from the beach here that takes you all the way to the world famous Bullfiddle Rock, which is a very well photographed and popular location for photographers. And if you're into walking up hills, there's a lovely hill walk just outside of Cullen that takes you up Bin Hill and it gives you stunning panoramic views over the town and the coastline itself. And you can even walk from here to a lovely ruined castle known as Finlatter Castle. There's so much to do here, I've thoroughly enjoyed my day and I just want to say a huge thank you to Discover Cullen and all the businesses that have been so kind today in welcoming me here. Next time you're considering a day out, or maybe a long weekend away, why not consider coming to Cullen? It's got so much to offer, and it is beautiful.